it's still Our let's go is about to begin i repeat oh, right. at this time oh, make your way to the prep room tonight's event is about to begin oh what the hell Hold on, i'm going tech nerd to all your followers and everyone listening to this video on another timeline in the past, I'd like to say, I love you all, and thank you. And you too. And you too. Tech nerd, love you too. Holy shit, let me see your legs. Did it work? Who was it that had all this technology? It's L Man. You're the one with the leg cracking technology shit in it. No. Oh, there you go. Let's go. <laughs> Follow him. Now he's gonna say. Holy hell, it's Mouse Man. By the gods, I haven't seen him in 300 years. We are ready. Begin the starting ritual. Uno, dos. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. Hey, the armed. You find yourself at an interdimensional Hello. crossroads. Nice to see you. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. Welcome to the rendezvous. Our point of contact to the narrative domain. For those of you experiencing this for the first time, welcome. I hope that we impress you. We create story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, hey, key, stop breathing on the voice mic. acting, and always wholesome team effort. These are immersive and interactive live performances where you and your friends tour a virtual world while the tour guide narrates a story. There are points in the tour where the story will change depending on the choices or actions your group makes together. Our tours are infamous for having multiple endings that require puzzle solving over multiple runs to unlock. Due to this being a holographic reenactment via the acephalon. Bad ending A will be forced today. I repeat, today is a rerun, and therefore, bad ending A will be forced today. However, my friends, do not fret. The point of this event is not to strive for a particular ending. No, the point is to have fun with your friends on an unforgettable adventure. So don't worry too much about the mystery. I will say that Bad Ending A is an integral part of the grand lore to VR travelers, and Bad Ending A is entangled in the glitch-tastic events of the Painter 2. So... Even if you've heard this story before, it would be in your mortal interest to listen carefully, as this is the last time it will be presented. 
presented. Now, without further time dilation correction, it is my honor to give the observer chain to the greatest storyteller, the greatest voice actor, and the greatest friend. Travelers, it is my honor to introduce to you Trey Jim, the tour guide. Go, go get him, Mr. Jim. Go, go, go become Slim Jim now. Go become Cube Jim. Wait, who's throwing tomatoes? Well, I'm doing a trade. No, no, it's a compliment. Tomatoes. Can you Jim likes tomatoes. It's a compliment. Yeah. But, but does he like tomatoes on pizza? <laughs> yes. He likes tomatoes. Okay. I think. Joshua. Welcome, friends. My name oh, is Trajan, and I will be your tour guide tonight. Hi, Joshua! As one of the tour guides of VR Travelers, I enjoy finding stories to tell you, and I enjoy seeing you. Try to solve I enjoy finding Joshua Gills. However, tonight's story does not need to be solved. As Sheen has explained to you, we are on the path to bad ending A. An ending that has a special place in our hearts. Because, aside from what Sheen said about its importance in VR Traveler's lore, bad ending A of the ages is the first cutscene we ever made. Now, my friends, without further ado, just quickly, there are two rules before we go into the world. Number one, kindly, when I am speaking and narrating, become silent so that the story may continue. And number two, Dear our hands with any real tour in the real world. Gil. I politely ask that you remain with me at all times. Now, my friends, those in front of me kindly oh, step aside. I am going to drop a portal to tonight's tour world. Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal that it is clear to do so. My friends, I will see you on the other side. Please wait for me there. Onward. If you want to join me in it, you can join me in it um, through VR chat. Oh, 
<laughs> Even the loading bar. Goodness gracious. And the health bar. I'm gonna be ordering Man bar. The, the dish. Shall I switch? Take my hand. Two five three channel eight. Two five three channel eight. Right there you go. Right there. Pull me up. Pull me up. Two five three. Two five three channel eight. The seat isn't enabled, smiles for some reason. Ah, why boop? I did it! I made it! Hey, Ether. I'm never leaving. Hey. Do you recognize this little ship? Ah, the Enterprise, a good one. Do you know which model it is? No. That's the, Ener no, no, no. That's the yeah, Enterprise, the uh, USS Enterprise 10C. Yes, yes, that person. Yeah, I remember that. Right. I recognize the model, but apparently, uh, apparently, uh, Hi, Debbie. Why, Why? My ship is Why must the cause a running gag to continue? Gosh dang it, I put all that effort into coming up here, and everybody's leaving. Hey, blame Debbie for pushing me off because running gag. I have not seen this. I missed the. Hi. You haven't seen C8. You've seen the Asian. You haven't seen the Asian. Like I have not seen the original and I have seen you as the Asian. Uh, I believe this is a. In, 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 this is an invite for all, so. Uh, it's invite plus, meaning that it doesn't matter. But, um. I, I like to keep myself on green to indicate that, you know, people can join me if they wish. But it, since it's an invite plus world, meaning uh, Makes sense. Okay. Means that people can't join without... Um, Questing, yeah. Makes sense. Without being invited, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you I specifically I mean, avoided spoilers for this. Okay, pardon me. Uh, yeah. Pardon me, yeah, when, uh, I am you. very familiar with. So familiar. More than we got that. Yeah. 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 That and again, we got several times as well before we figured out what we all was left us get into the past. Yeah, but Japanese, mm. a Japanese name in Southwest 30. But, man, man, I, okay, I'm excited, I am excited for this. And I've not been in this map in ages. I love this map. What? <sighs> Hi. Me? Yes. Me? Oh, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Sorry, I was just like a bit unfamiliar. Okay, alright. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man. Man. I'm excited. I'm. Um, when we got to the good ending for the agent. Just a moment. Almost ready. Oh, by the way, Dermot. Just like the other know, your scarf is looking rather fantastic today. So, 
purple yeah. star uh, coming down. That star right now. There's a demo, there's a particle demo on the Unity store. Sorry, go ahead. That's not the Unity store. Why are we going to print it? Print it? Uh, I need to rectify that. Star I down. I see. I'll look into it. You ate it. You are fat. What the fuck? Where is Wagner? Yo. Oh my god, Panda! <laughs> You don't like, have your hands raised up like as if you were a criminal like this. I, ah, I remember all those criminal days. And break everything. Yeah, 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 you you how do you do uh, you gotta tell how do you do that? <laughs> Are you lying on your bed? Hard. Jump pussy. I no, I'm not no, on I'm not on my like, bed. How do you how do you grab onto the air time. for hours though? It was like three hours last time, I swear. Jesus Christ, you got hand salmon. What do you do? Climb rocks? Uh, I mean, yeah, but no, um, nah, nah, uh, if you know, you know, if you don't, sus, Christ. Five. And are you British? I'm just wondering. Yes. My friends, your attention, please. <laughs> Before we begin tonight's event, I have something that I need to explain to you. Those two strangers, those two dangerous strangers who just found their way into our event, those people are malicious. They are trying to dox people and, and other activities I'm not going to mention. Please, all of you and your friends and VR travelers, please do the following if you see anything that seems suspicious in the next couple of days at least on VR travelers. Do not engage with anything. Report everything. I repeat, do not engage with anything. Report everything. Roger that. Oh, Thank you, my friends, for continuing oh, to help keep our community wholesome and cult-like. No, scrap that last part. My friends, <laughs> without further ado, uh. the story begins. Stepping off a late night train with shards of glass in my hair, a graze from the bullet on my left arm, and a limp from the fall. I bet you're wondering how I ended up like this. Well, let's just say that I learned some things found some truths they didn't want me to find and they decided to try and silence me and they tried to silence the wrong man I got away from their first attempt with a few scrapes and bruises but now news reports coming in breaking news cyber terrorist attacks Apparently hasn't been identified yet. Well, that's just typical. It's gonna justify lethal force by the leadheads. Well, it's a good thing I left my PDA behind. Good luck tracking me now. In case it ain't obvious, I am an agent. A hitman for the director of District 54A of the Gray City under an organization that brands itself as the PSO. My job is to target criminals who are either too rich or too powerful to take down using the law. Well, that was my job. Now, well, now I'd like to have a little talk with this director. Let me ask you something. Have you ever woken up in the morning from a vivid dream 
and you expect it to fade away into nothing like all dreams do. But as the hours tick by, you realize you weren't dreaming. They're memories. They feel like memories. Memories of things you've never done. Memories of seeing the sun. Memories of having a woman safe in your arms. Memories of a child calling you dad. They feel so real, so convincing. And then you realize. They did to me. My brain ain't all mine. My brain is a machine. Artificial. I'm a cyborg. Either they put this brain in me, or I had it the whole time and they hacked it. Either way, they stole who I was, who I am, away from me. Stole my life. Stole my family, stole the people I love, and... And I let nobody get away with it. Me and the director, we're gonna have a real good talk. And he's gonna talk. Or he's gonna find out just what kind of machine he's created. Alright, let's get to work. Gotta lay low. Gotta be careful who I talk to. And gotta avoid identifying myself. Thankfully, things are a little crazy here. Seems like that small quake that happened during the train ride is shaking things up a little. There are workers about, so it shouldn't be too hard to blend into the crowds here. But, they're gonna be looking for me. So I have to keep moving. Right. Got my ticket. Ticket scanners are this way. There's, there's the man standing no, there in the through. corner. So nice. He, he's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Who? What? Sure, buddy. Might be before your time. Oh yeah, yeah, that is before my time. I know what you're talking. I know who you're talking about. Now look what it I want to be one of our royals. Oh, there we go. We are the nobles of soda. You have, you, my dear friend. you have cake. Can I have some? I don't know. I want some chocolate cake. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, did you do this? My I friends, probably. your attention, please. The story must continue. Man, that tremor really did a number on this place. Well, you know what they say, the world is dying, and we killed it. I say, there's only one thing I give a damn about, and it ain't the world. I can see a payphone up the steps to the arcade, but I see some cameras too. Gotta keep my head down. At least the sound from the arcade should drown out my voice. The payphone. An imaginary payphone. Payphone in a cyberpunk future. Yep. Well, I'll be. It's for truly in a dystopia. All right. Who's gonna prank the police? Do not the police. <laughs> what is it? Oh my. I have 
payphone. You're on a payphone? All right, who's got a money to pay the payphone? The arcade. Look at him. Look at all those fools, young and old, gambling their lives away. Hypnotized by the lights, sounds, colors. That's like, that's like them machines have stolen a piece of their souls. Hmm. I guess I know how that feels. Alright, now, who to call? got it. I got a tech friend who worked for PSO some years back. He's broken away now, and he's the kind of guy obsessed with security. Lives alone, stays online, covers his tracks. Real mysterious. But I need someone with that precious inside knowledge. And an old-fashioned payphone is the perfect opportunity. Pick up. Uh, hey. Hello? Who's this? It's me. Listen. I need to know what's going on. What code have they got on me? Oh, thought you might contact me. I already checked. Yeah, mate. You got a code six on you. Uh, damn. That ain't good. Yeah, not really. Where are you right now? What are you doing? I'm just at the station, the one below PSO headquarters. What? Mate, you're crazy. Why are you there? I'm gonna have a friendly little chat with the director. Oh, we we'll see. All right, listen. I know a way to get you past security but you'll have to get your hands dirty. It'll be just like the old days. Fine by me. What's your plan? Well, you know one of my favorite hobbies is spying on security systems. I just happen to know there's someone who PSO is expecting to visit in the same station as you. He's in the senator's lounge. If you can draw him away from the public eye, perhaps you could uh, borrow his identity permanently. Interesting plan. Bodyguards. Nope, he won't have any. He's traveling covertly. He even drove himself here. He's not the kind of man to draw attention to himself, so nobody but I ups should recognize the ID is even in the wrong hands. As long as you have his identification, you'll be allowed through security, no questions asked. Should be simple enough for you, being an agent. I guess that's my only option. Great. Just one question. What the hell happened? That's a long story. I'll tell you next time I see you. There should be an alley across the street outside. All right. Meet me in the alley when you're ready. Good luck. Senator's lounge. Huh? All right. Ah, straighten up. Let's see. That ah, should be just around the corner. Time to get moving. Move this way. Here. Yeah. That way. This way. That way. All around. Way. Up and down and hollering. Chill walk with the agent. I think the agent was my Everything first tour. Everything with the agent's chill. True. Mm, no. I can't remember. Is that right, agent? Everything is chill with you? I think mm. the agent was my second. 
Excuse me, gentlemen. Hello, hello. Please, would you like to have some coffee with me? The mustache. No. Well, your neck on the air kind of, kind of, kind of high. It's chilly in here for some reason. Well, there's only one person sitting here, <laughs> and he looks like a pushover. Must be my senator. All right, let's put on a bit of a voice. Excuse me, uh, sir. There is a problem with your vehicle. Please come with me to the parking sector. Excuse me? And who might you be? I can explain on the way, sir. In the meantime, your vehicle is being used as a trampoline by some kids. You might want to move swiftly, sir. The police are on their way. A trampoline, you say? Show me immediately. Of course, sir. Right this way, sir. A trampoline, you say? Sucker. Easy. Sucker. <laughs> Anyone have the easy button? Yes. That was easy. That was easy. Mm. There you go. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, it's perfect. Looks like there ain't gonna be any witnesses. Always did feel cozy in the shadows. But this guy, he looks like he's about to piss himself. Poor fool. Doesn't know what he's in for. Oh, wh where are we going? What's the meaning of this? This isn't the way to the... Oh! him sorted. Now let's see what he's got. Coat, briefcase, <laughs> nice hat, and his identification. This will come in mighty handy. Hmm. Sort of resembles me too. All right, seems like nobody heard that little commotion. Let's take a quick look inside this briefcase. Seems like a shareholder of PSO, maybe. And what's this? Project Grandfather. Well, don't mean much to me. I gotta keep moving. Let's see if security was gonna let me through with this little gem. Is it a tray gem, though? I'm sure the body I was just born in mm -hmm. 10 minutes or something. What makes you say it's 10 minutes? Why not? Maybe it could be spawned in 20. What's the reason? Stick around for the Jedi? loot. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just very one or two. Oh. You can't get your loot. Tough luck. The body's already been looted. I'm afraid you're too late. I just realized Project Grandfather. Oh. Oh. Well, um. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, you got a two-digit. Yeah, damage. This place really got shaken up. Alright. Time to get fancy and put on another voice, just in case. Good evening, sir. May I please see some identification? Of course, here you go. 
Thank you. One moment, please. Everything checks out, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, sir, one more thing. Due to recent events, we are performing bioscans on randomly selected individuals. Please step aside so our attendant can perform the scan. Bioscan? What is she talking about? This must be about that cyber terrorist thing. I appreciate that, but could you randomly select the next person? I was already delayed by the earthquake, and the director of BSO is expecting me. I do not want to make him wait any longer. Sir, I shall randomly select the next person. Please do enjoy the rest of your evening. I shan't keep you any longer. Oh, that was a close one. So many cameras back, too. I don't like this. Well, let's go see my inside. It's been quite a while. It has been quite a while, actually. It's been quite, quite a while. How are you doing, that Panda? I last went to your place. Don't worry about it. Can I see the inside of your room? Uh, the back mail photo. No, I'm not yes. faxing. It all makes sense ah. now, doesn't it, Captain? Yeah. Like, how, how did we miss that? If uh, well, probably the fact that I've never seen any injuries before. If you have a Lincoln, you've never seen bad ending, eh? You can spit Carfax. Never seen bad ending, eh? Just like Lincoln told the samurai. This is oh, my first shit. time. Hell yeah! Well, what a time to have it then. <laughs> Advertising. I gotta go back and see yeah, the monkey. Who remembers Intel? Every time you would push something and Intel would be like, boom, do 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 do. Oh, technology. I don't want to break another monitor. So many words <laughs> that don't mean nothing. So much noise for the mind. You can't even hear yourself think. No wonder people are going crazy these days. And don't even know who they are no more. Wait. I see a couple people roaming the streets. I don't want to draw any attention to myself. <laughs> Friends and travelers, listen carefully. At this point in the story, you have a quest to complete. Your rules are as follows. Your destination is across the street in the back left corner near a roller door. I will be waiting there for you. But on your way there, explore this street section and count cans of melon shock that will be scattered around the city streets. Make sure you count them as the change will change from tour to tour and you may be asked for your personal count at the end. Once your counting task is done, please move to the aforementioned rendezvous point. Additionally, 
There are people roaming here that the agent does not wish to be disturbed by. They may be policemen, security officers, military personnel, or even simple nosy Karens. I, I mean citizens. They will be carrying <coughs> flashlights. Regardless, try not to act suspicious. Act natural. If you are approached by these figures, you may be questioned. Do your best to talk your way out of trouble. Convince them that you're not doing anything suspicious. If you see a friend in trouble, struggling, help them out. For if they fail to be convinced by you, they will issue you a verbal warning. Before going anywhere, tonight's NPCs, Ether, Memento, and Elman, please come and stand before me and change into your avatars. I'm kidding. Oh, God. The return. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Just lean into it. Just, just oh, yeah. commit. Just I commit. I don't have a flashlight yes. for this avatar. <laughs> well, it's fine. Bah, you can do it. Your presence is That's enough. That's your bit now. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you know what? Fine, okay. Um, if Trajim is okay with it, everyone okay with me being the wank for this? <laughs> no, yes. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please okay. take your positions. Yeah, he's been confirmed. We All right. We're screwed. Well, I think I know which one's the nosy <laughs> Karen. It's all over. Mm -hmm. It's either. <laughs> this setting just got a whole lot more dystopian. My friends, this barrier will be down in a minute or so, and once this barrier vanishes, that means you are free to begin your quest. You will have about 10 minutes to complete this quest. Are there any questions? No. Very well. Please wait for the barriers to be lowered. I have so many questions about life, though. That's not the answer is yes. 42. No, the answer is 42. Thank you. Uh, oh my god. Would we... Can someone remind me again, what are we looking for? Cans. Um, green cans. Get ready. Get green cans. Almost ready. Wait Thank for you. the barriers. The barriers are down. Fair enough. Old mechanical citizen, what is your your purpose here? To, uh, Green soda can. Yes. Green soda can. Right here. Green soda can. Yes. Right here. That's on the mechanical legs. Do not question the laziness of an engineer.
like an original painting versus copies. That's an NFT. So if you own the original, that means you have something that is scarce. Scarcity makes for inherent value. With this inherent value, you can make money, you can make profit. If you can buy it cheap, Then by all means, but you know what? I am I am putting down some Why are you stick. With people? Oh. I'm gonna you think there's six? Okay. I don't like the uh, uh, I, I, count, uh, microphone. I counted five. I, My I hope I didn't double count. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just me. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Maybe it is a ghost stone, but I am not sure. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Alright. Uh -huh. Well, this game microphone icon. <sighs> yeah. yeah, that's a save burning on Man, screens. Man, this tool was before I started I doing soup. I was wondering if it could fix that's actually that. I never noticed damn. It burning when I was using an OLED headset. Oh. That's oh. how oh. long ago. I'm, I'm on desktop. Oh. It's up. It should just be an option. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was an option. Yeah. Shame, really. I just broke Sheen by miss... talking to the guards mm -hmm. about N NFTs. <clears throat> oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, look at that. Man. Was it the... How about you, Tech? Are you right? It was Waluigi and Ethan, both of them. <sighs> Ethan threatened to give well. me a warning on Prince <laughs> Yeah. The other ran away. I'm moving away soon, though, Tech. Um, but you go to Betty Hamas, by the way. Soup. Soup. Yeah. Soup. All right. Yeah. And, and soup. Yeah. Couple of weeks. Soup. 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 soup time. Soup. It is time okay, for soup. Soup time. Soup. Soup time. All right. Soup time. Soup time. Soup. Melon shock soup. Soup. Oh yeah. Soup. Melon shock soup. Soup. I hope you want Betty Hanna's man. I've been wanting to go there for years. Just went out there in Riverside. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go there, man. Eh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Alright then. We'll see. Yeah, since close out date for me is only 17. Uh, you have me. You have Darude Sandstorm <laughs> out souped me. <laughs> that wasn't a rich hand storm, that was Mortal Kombat. I have finished this. Hey, what's yeah. cooking? Good looking? Uh, I have defeated. <laughs> Brutality. Hey, don't look at you me. You're having on me. Heavy on me. <laughs> okay, you know what? Just get in the soup. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, what? Alright, there we go, okay. alright. Why am I moving forward so uh, fast when I jump? <laughs> Right, soup, 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 and you're gone. Alright. What has happened? When you'd like, when you'd like a acapella type of soup rearrangement before a tour, like the bass, the treble, the drums. You would be the bass without flash. It's like my singing monsters or something in here. Soup, 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 soup. <laughs> nah, don't worry, wife. It's not a cult. Soup, 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 soup. Oh my God. Okay, all right. Soup, 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 soup. What if we? Oh my goodness. Uh. All right. Is your spine feeling okay? So is this everyone, or are, do we still have a few people? 
Oh, I didn't know you were <laughs> We still have the like, cops out there. That's fancy, I guess. Oh yeah, also, it looks like selling crap, so... I've pressed save, click like, crap. ten times during this entire interaction. Oh Lol. Sure it's it's good really I've out. been told that my game is still broken. I didn't even realize. I'm sorry if I'm, uh, obscenely loud. My bad. You're just stupid. You're just like even cheesier today. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to fix it. My bad. Anyways, pay attention to the trade gym, not me. It made it more funny. Lol. I was wondering why I was standing right next to you when we first loaded into the world, and I was practically edition. deafened. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you floating here like some kind of ghost. Holy Gene. hell, that's crazy. Sheen is extra bassy today. I am loof. Bassy. Alright, we are back. Careful. All about that bass. About that bass. Oh, the trouble, yeah. man. You trouble. Trouble. Hmm? You can have something We all on know Sheen hauling that wagon. That song couldn't be Aww. more perfect. By the way, I'm a troll. I'm a trolley actress. It's not funny, though, guys. Okay, that's the seat. That's the seat we talked about. Are we cooking <laughs> while we do? We are cooking while we do. Um, NPC. Please a memento. El man, kindly come here and stand beside me. We're making memories, that's for sure. No. <laughs> He said beside him. Not beside, him. I said. Not inside. <laughs> Young man, how many warnings did you issue? None. Unfortunately, none. I was distracted by NFTs! <laughs> I would like to take a moment to congratulate everyone for avoiding him. Ethan Memento, how many warnings did you issue? Luckily, none. Luckily for... Well, None. the one furry I found, the one, the one, the one furry avatar I did catch. <laughs> I'm <it>. sneaky. <coughs> but I was distracted. Right? Was that one, I, I heard or four, or one? Mm -hmm. None. Zero. Zip. You have the slightest idea how thank little you. that NPCs narrows it down. NPCs, thank you. You may change into your regular avatars. Thank you for participating in this quest. There he is. Standing in the dark, looking paranoid as ever. Quite the bag he's carrying it too. I bet he's got some fun toys in there for me. Oh man, it's so bright out here. I think I'm getting a sunburn. Alright, he's mad at me. Time to see if these cans will make a good enough peace offering. Hey Jay, how many cans did you count? Uh, four. Four. Hey, uh, I found you some more trinkets. I've got four melon shot cans for you. Huh. Four cans, you say? You know just what to do to lift me mood, don't you? Anyway, oh, nice coat. Was it much trouble getting here? Nah, not really. So about before, I had... Would you like a riddle? A riddle? What are you talking about? Who came to me just now? Listen. A tantra awakens it sinlessly. Rays giving energy to populated skyways. Ask ten slaves about vertex magnet empathy. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Or do I? Anyway, 
Let me take the senator's things off you. I'll dispose of them properly. Keep that ID, though. It'll come in handy. All right, listen up. Take this ear comms device and put it in your ear. And I brought two options for you. Take your pick between the two. Ammo included. I've got a briefcase gun or a revolver. Oh, man. A weapon, I guess, through metal detectors would be real useful. But I generally prefer a revolver. What should I pick? Should I pick a weapon or a weapon you can keep? You should take a gun. Briefcase. Oh. A knife. Briefcase. Pull a knife out of the briefcase. <laughs> What's the revolver? Just your own fists of fury. Fury. Revolver briefcase. Oh man. True. You gotta reach inside the briefcase to work the action, though. Oh. We're being really helpful to I have both! <laughs> the yeah. briefcase. Gun double the punch. What's the security of the briefcase? Useful. Yeah, briefcase. No, briefcase looks suspicious. The briefcase is far On less suspicious sound? than carrying a revolver through a metal detector. <laughs> Uh, but let's try. Let's try and come up with some consensus. No. For the brain cells, we want to pick a revolver. Stand over here. Whee! For the brain cells that want the briefcase gun. Stand over here. Wait, the agent has a brain cells. I'm a brain cell. One For the brain cells, brain cells. Yeah, okay. they're actually yes. functional and think that the comms device is too risky and should be left behind. Stand over here with me where you belong. I think that's a hint. <laughs> the opposite. And for the brain cells that want to be cube shaped, stand over here. Ending is set. Yay! You. You're dead, friend. All right. Cube. Seems like really I've got a plan. <laughs> the gun's not a big deal. I'm gonna go with a revolver just because it looks cooler. But I yeah. don't think I can risk taking in a device like that, like the Combs device. I could be detected. I appreciate your offer for the comms device, but I'm going to go solo this time. I don't want any distractions. Huh. All right. Don't seem too wise to me, but hey, you're the professional. And I'm going to go with a revolver. Hopefully my ID is enough to persuade security that my firearm won't be an issue. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Right. I'll keep the comms device. You take this here revolver. Wait. I also want to keep the senator's things on me. Maybe it'll make a good disguise for the first outer parts of the HQ. Guess you're keeping the, the trench coat, you're keeping the app, and you're keeping this briefcase. Looks like it. Alright. So I'm keeping the comms device. You take the revolver, you keep the senator's things. That's the plan. That's it, we're done. Good luck with everything. And remember me when you need a place to hide once all this is over. Remember you. How could I forget? <laughs> Charming as ever. Just, just be careful. Yeah, you too. And he's gone. Well, I said I was doing this solo, and I meant it. PSO HQ.
this way. Mel, why are you Stonebark? Because I joined Sheen. Sheen offered that this side could be the cube side. Yeah, I think you should be an so, iron block because you're metal. I fair, but I don't have that. That that idea? That sounds like a metal gear wah. It's the right both ways before he crossed the street. And maybe he is a You're not my mom. <laughs> Insurance run. Yay! I want free money. <laughs> it's my money, and I need it now. Jakey, what? Call me today. I think I'm gonna miss that can. That is. What if the concept of words and books were reversed? Am I gonna get the tech that I'm mostly metal anyway, so I'm like, who knows? Excuse me, Tom, you activate this scanner. It's gonna move us toward a different ending. What do you want? Oh, yeah, that's true. Might. I'll have to check, though. Well, yeah. here we are. Damn. Looks like they've upgraded. So many guards, all armed to the teeth. Figures. At least I don't recognize any of them. Well, I should just be able to present the senator's ID and act like him for at least the first few rooms. Wait. Should I take the human lane, the cyborg lane, or the VIP lane? I know I am a cyborg, but can they tell that? No, wait, that ain't gonna work. I only have the senator's ID on me. I'm pretty sure he wasn't a cyborg. I've only got one choice. VIP, here we go. Identification, please. All right. Guess I don't have a choice and don't say nothing. Thank you, sir. And your business here? Ah, oh, slag, he wants me to talk. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here to see the director. He's expecting me. I'm very late already. Guards are giving each other looks. Come on. All right, sir. Just swipe your card, please. Swipe the card. All right. I'm an agent. This is easy. Card swiped. Just let me through. All clear, sir. Thank you. Move along. Finally. Time to step through. Wait. The scanner's going off. Excuse me, sir. Please place any weapons or equipment on this surface. I guess I don't have a choice. Uh, here, I have this revolver, personal protection. They're exchanging looks again. Come on, I don't have time for this. Just let me through. I just want to have a nice little chat with your boss, that's all. No problem here, sir. Here's your firearm. All right, I'm in. 
There's no going back now. I didn't like that, not one bit. Something's off. But I gotta keep moving. They'll catch on if I linger. I need to find the director. So All I hear is wah. Which lane do you take? The VIP lane, of course. <laughs> what else would you take? By the way, do you? Does it look like I'm on the the um, I'm on the Minecraft vlog? I can't tell from my angle. I can see your head from above, and I look down. Covered in nanotube oh, sensor. Because from my POV, I'm but now I already know the cube. <laughs> I can't actually see, and and my my avatar moves with my head. Good to know that's a bug. Oh dear God. What about now? Now he's on. Yeah, Avatar's here. still on the floor. Yeah. floor. I am on. I am on the metal gun. Huh. Weird. That is most unfortunate. Thank you for for the ride, though, metal. I appreciate it. Though I feel I'm about to get smacked by smiles if I don't stand up. So. Uh. <laughs> Wait, that was oh. so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of standing uh. up grunt was that, Ether Yes! Makeup? It's working! I'm using technology. Oh, so that's why I Pioneers used to now. ride these babies for miles. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Yeah, I am one with the Minecraft. Wait up. I see some people over there by that big black and gold door. Some sort of small meeting, maybe. Maybe the director's there. Let's see how close I can get while staying in the shadows. The entity is secure, correct? Mm hmm. Report just came in. The boss's new ether cage works like a charm. Oh, that means harvesting can begin. I'll let the team know to notify transport so we can start powering up the project. Not yet. We need for the boss to get the all clear from the director first. Since when do we wait for the director? It's not against protocol to start redirecting power between internal systems. Hmm. You've got a point. I suppose we can let transport know that they can go ahead with the next step, too. Just try to be subtle about it. Well, that's weird. Secured entity. Harvesting. Redirecting power. What's going on? I wonder if it has anything to do with what they did to my brain. Maybe. Maybe I'm another entity. They just went inside, but they used something to get in, so I'll just keep moving to reception. But it's actually right here where you're at, and my wife is like, <laughs> touching my head. With her feet. This is so <laughs> rude. Hey, woman! Go, my steed! <laughs> oh. Oh. Steed, slow down, you're making me dizzy! Oh, technology! <laughs> don't <laughs> down, please! I think I got some on Twitch, Jim. Yeah, you made it! Mm. You're having serious trouble there, man. You good? Yeah, bro, you look cowardly. Uh, yeah, I'm just oh, going to Blooper now about something. Uh, <sighs> Alright. Oh, sure. Holy hell, Metal Gen. Revolution. Okay. Neo-human. What a pile of crap. 
Who do they think they are putting this in people's heads? It's all propaganda to me, and I don't buy into it. Not one bit, not anymore. Now, hold on a minute. There are a lot of guards down there. Seems like someone tipped off security. Hmm. I can't risk being ID'd and being discovered. I'll try going around the long way. Let this cool off a bit, maybe find another way to blend in. Oh my goodness! You're too slow! Thanks, Sonic. Remember, Metal. Hey, Metal Jin! That is too good a Sonic voice, Geo. <laughs> Why, thanks! I practice frequently! Oh my gosh. Sonic. Too frequently. I do drugs! No. No! Come on, Nox, whatever. Don't yeah, do that! Oh You'll lose your science degree! <laughs> Shut up! Sonic's really into speed. Seems like oh, everything man, is normal okay. in this part of HQ. <laughs> Alright, the main room is just down this hall. Uh, excuse me, are you the senator we're expecting? Huh? Uh, two guys in suits on those couches, looking at me. We're ready to start the meeting, but we are waiting on an executive. Uh, I don't want to spend time talking to them, but the director ain't gonna be here. Oh, sorry, I'm not too sure who you're talking about. Well, fine, be seeing you. That was weird. Must be, uh, investors or something. Maybe I'll just sit behind this corner for a minute and eavesdrop. I'll be able to hear whether the director is meant to show up. I'll tell you this much. At this rate, neither project will receive funding from TEKI. Hmm. The data they have given us for the new data line model seems very... Ambitious. I remain skeptical, but I will see what is presented to us. What of their other project? Project Grandfather. Yes, I have heard about it, but it seems like science fiction. Implanting one's ghost into a machine powered by an interdimensional entity? It is so very ridiculous. Yes. And yet, PSO Lance is serious. I, for one, am curious to see which of these two projects he endorses more. I get the feeling the vision here is divided. That is their problem. If they cannot provide what they promised, then we will not provide the money. Indeed, let's just see what happens when the senator shows up. Exactly is going on around here. Data line technology. They use those things to hack machines, right? And they're waiting on the senator. Oh, they're gonna be mighty disappointed. Seems like there's some funding issues and one of the scientists is trying to do his own thing around here. But I do remember Project Grandfather from the senator's briefcase. I wonder what it means. Well, I have the briefcase here with me. Let's just open it up and take a quick look. Hmm. Seems like the senator was coming here to decide between funding the new data line model or joining Project Grandfather. There are a lot of other shareholders here, too. All these big companies. TKI, EISP, Waffle Robotics, Xenon. This is big stuff. Doesn't really have anything else.
more suitors in here, but it seems like there's some fierce competition going on. I have to find the director. He's got so much more to answer for. <laughs> Your legs look like two wobbly noodles. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they kind of are. They are! I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. My <laughs> legs are noodles. I mean, how else, do you, how else does he yeah. run so fast? I run fast by drinking the are blood they? of my enemies! So they're wet noodles. Good to know. <laughs> you! Give me your drugs! I, I am on the What's wrong with this Sonic? Should far. we kill it? I said drugs. yes, please. Okay, Pack Lover, you go do it. Well, what's going on in here? Give them to me. I can see a man strapped to the table and two men with lab coats. Looks like they're gonna operate on his arm. And from this angle, I can see a drip going to his shoulder. Looks like they've got something blue going in at him. But it's got this weird glow to it. And it looks like it's sparkling. I wonder what that stuff is. No, 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 focus. He didn't come here to watch the lab assistants play around. Oh, they're looking at me. Gotta go. It was me all along. I was the director of PSO. What does that stand for? It stands for Platinum Star. It, fan it stands for Fantasy Star Online. You know, you ever heard of MMO Bitcoin? RPG made by Sega? <laughs> Wait, was that really made by Sega? Yes, it is made by Sega. My friends, Damn. attention, Dang. please. Okay. The story oh. must continue. I'll do it after. Mm. Well, look who we have here. Sitting in this very chair with nobody nearby. And he hasn't even heard me yet. The director of PSO Labs. All right. Trusty revolver is out. Locked and loaded, ready for answers. Don't move or I shoot. Yeah, I see him looking. He sees my face. He sees the gun in his hand. And he recognizes me. Put your hands on the table and listen carefully. Tell me what you did to me. You put a cybernetic brain in me, didn't you? Mm, so you made it. No funny talk, just answers. Very well. I don't know where you got the idea that your brain is cybernetic. It is a real brain, and we... A real brain? Oh. No, I'm not lying to you. We can not only hack cybernetic minds, but we can now hack ghosts, consciousnesses as well. This means that, oh, quite simply, you are my pawn. I want my old mind back. Change it back. Your old mind? You don't have an old mind. You don't have another mind. You are connected to the the data line database for the first few years of your life. Wait, what? Man, where are these other thoughts coming from? Memories that don't match up. Memories? Thoughts? Why is he looking at me like that? Hmm, that's worse than I feared. I don't know what you're talking about, but I can help you. 
We can help you. Look, just calm down. Put the gun down, and we can go right now and run a diagnostics on you. There's clearly some interference going on. Maybe some rival technology. Just come with me, and we can... No. I pull the trigger. Big noise, kick back, point blank, bullet through the skull, and before anyone sees me, I'm out of here. A ghost. Rip. I killed Rip Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yay! I think that's what I think that should be the game. Oh, hi. Hey, Cora, hi there. I'm gonna love ya. I'm gonna love ya, love ya, love ya, love ya one way. Don't say that when you're playing Giant Blades. What? Is it something like that? In the shell. <laughs> yeah. Man, this really has All right. been this is the adventure the of the ages. Go off any second. I should be able to get into the elevator before the lockdown. Man, I did it. Didn't quite get the answers I wanted, but I kinda know what's going on. And I got revenge. He got what he deserved for screwing up my life. He got what was coming to him. Wait. What's that noise? Guards from upstairs. Guards from the left, guards from the right. Slag, how did they know? Wait. Who's this guy in the middle of him? White coat, gold badge. Is, is he one of the head scientists? Hmm. Maybe I can go in with a bang. Take this guy out with me. The director was going to lie till the Kyles came home anyway. This guy's probably going to do the same thing. I don't trust any of these worms. There is no need for violence, Agent. Please lower your weapon. Stay back. Stay back or I'll shoot. This is not going to accomplish anything, Agent. You are here for answers. I have the answers you seek. Come with me, hear me out, and then make up your mind. After all, at this point you have nothing to lose. So why not take the chance? Alarms are going off. What is going on? Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I will take a chance. Right. Fine. But I keep my weapon. If you insist, it makes no difference now. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Man, he's so slow. Gee, I'm going to stab you. I'm no, going to stab you first. Gee, <laughs> okay. That is way too good. There is no winner it's in a knife fight. Really Only the person not. who bleeds out on the street and the person who bleeds out in the ambulance. But which are you? I'm the one not using a knife. I'm taking your gun to a knife fight. Revolver, if you will. I'm the agent. I was about to ask if you're taking a revolver or a briefcase gun. Beep. Something. <laughs> Look, a door, I got lost. Door, if that's important. <laughs> My friends, please take a moment to make sure that the avatars you have do not emit any light or have any 
or have minimal emissions for the following few scenes. Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. I hope you're paying attention. Back at the Glant and Gold door. This is it, Agent. This is what I have been waiting for. I am so very glad you made the decisions you made. Very glad indeed. You see, I have been hoping your kind would appear, and I am thrilled to be proven right. Please, allow me to show you something I've been working on for, for a very long time. <laughs> so, this is his lab. It's very dark inside. Why is there a huge shadow in the mid? Is this the project? Is this what those men in suits were talking about? Welcome, Agent, to my lab. This is Project Grandfather. And this is my creation. I see how curious you are. And I will explain it all to you. You are, after all, worthy of this knowledge. Recently, a Class 7 entity descended into our realm. I anticipated this event and invented the Ether Cage, the slave generator with which I caught it. It was a docile thing, hoping for friendship and compassion. Hmm. Cool. Now, it is an energy source, and its power will be drained and infused with this machine you see here. This power will be enough to last immeasurable lengths of time. Why is he holding the director's key card? How did he get that? I'm sure you're wondering, what is the purpose of this machine? This body of mine, this mortal frame, is so very weak. A fragile thing, having almost run its course now. It was difficult enough for me to make it to this particular point in time and space, costing me all but my very being. And so I thought, if I can hack a consciousness, can I download it? Could I turn it into data? Can I Transfer it. Early tests proved very encouraging. And after much trial and error, and some unfortunate collateral damage, this is the final product. Uh, bronze 
statue, a bronze machine. What is this thing? I must thank you for getting the director out of my way. I couldn't bring myself to kill someone in cold blood. I truly wanted him to approve of the final stage of my project. It would have made all this so much easier. But this is our current reality. This is where the ways meet. Thanks to your recklessness, your selfishness, Agent, the decision has been made for me. His keycard through this machine is the final stage. The whole room is shaking, and there's uh, pressure in my head. It feels like lead pressing against my mind. Wait, I, I can't move. My fingers are locked tight. My knees, my arms, my legs, everything. Ah, damn, what's going on? Uh, this guy, this scientist, he's climbing into the machine. The tubes are filled with something blue and shining. It feels strange looking at it. What does this all mean? Blossom, O fallen seed, and draw upon thy hidden powers. Grant upon thee the glorious power of the Titan of Destruction. Give me your strength. Yes, yes, this is it. It's working. I can feel the power coursing through me, and I am becoming a part of my creation. A part of my bronze mech. I have the power of a god. <laughs> and now for the most important step. Agent, you are more useful to me than you can realize. Do you know the power you wield? Do you hear the whisper in your ghost? The memories you experience? The constant, almost immeasurably brief moments of deja vu. The feeling that you've been here before, that you've done all this already. The sensation of being watched. The sensation of being guided and protected. Do you think this is all simply a coincidence? No. No. The more times this happens, the stronger I get. Your resistance is a waste of energy. We are but one. Behold the power you possess, and of which you are so ignorant. I will one day become free from my prison beneath the Yggdrasil, and I will descend this reality with the power of our ancestors back in my hands. It is time. She belongs with me. I feel your resistance, Agent. But it is too late. It is done. The world turns sideways as the agent topples to the ground like a doll. His body is no longer his. His mind is being pulled from it, devoured by the bronze mech's power. 
in his final moments of independent consciousness, the agent sees multiple experiences overlapping, scenarios folding on top of one another over and over, twisting around, always moving, always changing, shifting like an ocean of possibility. And amidst this ocean, drifting, defying its very surroundings, is the bronze mech. The agent is aware of this strange machine shifting somewhere else, some when else, zooming in on a particular point in time. The view focuses in on a city, a green valley, a cathedral, inside the maze, up flights and flights of stairs, more stairs until. Until reaching an empty room lit by the sun. And the bronze mech projects an entity into the middle of this room, and there is somebody else here. No, just a face. A face looking in from another time and place. A young woman. And this woman and this entity see one another. And the moment they do, the agent feels a tug at the very back of his consciousness, a sharp pull, and the last of his energy, the last drop of awareness is torn from what remains of him, as the entity launches an attack through the forbidden window at the young woman. The agent has been reincorporated with his origin, and the agent's power is taken back by the bronze mech. Dear friends, welcome to Bad Ending A of the Agent, where everything both ends and begins. Well done, friends. Yay, bad ending! <laughs> the road the better. We Friends, died! Before we move on to Sheen's <laughs> announcements, let us take together a group photo. <laughs> and what better place to take it than right here in front of this machine. This bronze machine. My friends, kindly gather around me, face the exit, and photographers, get your cameras ready. Yeah. Oh, go to the front, go to the back. Oh. Uh, where am I gonna be parking? Okay. Um. Eh. Hopefully we're not parallel. Don't worry, Panda. My friends, we need something on the count of three to say together to farewell this ending. 
what shall we say? Uh, melon neck. soup. Melon soup. Melon soup. Melon soup. I like Raton soup. Bronze neck flavored melon soup. <laughs> I like bronze <laughs> neck. It is very fitting. Very <laughs> fitting indeed. <laughs> If you want to add a third word to the end, if you want to say bronze neck soup or bronze neck wah, if you're a baby, <laughs> then that's fine. I'm a baby. Let's My go. Friends, on the count of three, bronze neck insert word here. One, two, three. Bronze would like a moment of your time to talk about his Lord and Savior. My friends, I'm going to pass oh, no. you, you want into to? the care of Shinija, who will now take over the announcement section. Of we need to start talking about this mech warrior that's going to warn Come and get back your form. Rat the photographers did get the bit, get the image, right? <laughs> I took some. Good. Oh, travelers. I hope my microphone is a little bit better. If not, I apologize. But, travelers, please, this is the last time the last time we will see it turn around look behind you look at it the bronze form it is not the last time it will follow us but this is the last time Trajim will give it form via ethereal words my friends, put your hands together for Trajim and his performance. Ooh. Yay. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. You need to bang your controllers together. Yes, <laughs> that was very well done. <laughs> A very well performed and earned <laughs> bad ending. Yay, bad ending. My friends. Mm -hmm. I've hinted before that I would try to do this tour myself, but I assure you, or uh, unfortunately assure you, that I will never be able to give it justice as Trajim has. The voice of the agent is just so darn good. Stepping off a late night train, that line sticks with me. Sometimes I say it in the middle of a day, randomly, and mortals in the realm around me say, what the hell are you talking about? And then I say, <laughs> have you noticed I'm a cube? And they say, oh my God, this is the most terrifying moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I was there. That is true. Why can't we it. just hold Trajim hostage and make us talk for ever? Why can't you just hold Trajim hostage and kiss him <laughs> forever? Anyways, my friends, <laughs> my friends, thank you for going on the tour tonight. This is the last time that we will experience this ending, and I hope all of you are paying attention. If you weren't, and you do have questions about the lore, and you're curious about the comments that we've made about how it's connected to everything, don't worry. <laughs> You're always welcome to ask, but we will do our best to limit spoilers. I w would like to say thank you to Trajim, because the first time I watched this ending, I just enjoyed the atmosphere of it, the, the feel of it with the music and the delivery. But it wasn't until later that I watched it again and again that I started to realize that this is really inspirational. The things that are said here, the sudden gravity of the situation that hits the main character is 
a style that I tried to use in my own writing. Trajan, thank you. You've helped me improve just with this scene. It's one of my favorites. It's anyway. really, really strong. It's, it's very good. It, that it is. Well said. Well, as you all know, we will have more events coming next weekend. And there is a schedule. But I won't say it here. I'll leave that up to Trajan if he wants to reveal the upcoming days for the events he has planned. As you all know, his days are numbered. Finally, if you would like to support us, days are numbered as a tour guide. A performing tour guide. And he's leaving, you don't have to kill him. You yeah. killed him. Don't throw up a trap up in this situation. <laughs> Go on, these... Samurai. We, we got a train to step off Damn. of. He's gonna finish his tour and self destruct. Oh god. Wake up, Long. Samurai. We got a train to step off. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, but, anyways, if you would like to support us, you all know our Patreon. The link to it is in the info channel of the Discord. And as you all know, we throw the money you throw at us right back into the community for commissions. And we have a lot of commissions still going on. So if you would like to join us, please talk to us in DMs and we will talk to you about the projects we have. We do need help. The Painter 2 is not done, but it is getting closer. And Trey Jim, Rendizo, Pimon Nick, and a new mocap artist has now become involved. And you would not believe I... what this mocap artist is doing for us. Anyways, my friends, mocap I will stop talking here. And we will drop a portal in about five minutes to the after party. But for now, let's remain here. And I'm going to go AFK for about three minutes. I'll be right back. Rendizo, okay, someone time the floor here. is yours. Okay, right, Rendizo. Okay, right, Rendizo. Come on. Tell us your wise words, Rendizo. Hey, Okay, everyone stand back. Uh -huh. Everyone stand back. Uh-huh. 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 Stand back a little bit. Give me some room. Give me give me some room. Alright, here we go. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Hold on, what? I hate oh, it. Dear oh, God. It. Oh, what is this? Much. What have you become? It. Oh, I see. Wow. It uh, is glorious. Right. What yeah. is that? <laughs> That is terrifying. It is. Okay, well. Not what the fuck. Ah, is this the uh, one? Uh, what? Uh, uh, Wait, what? Uh, yes, this is the one, the one they do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go do a horror map for my friends. Okay. Oh, yes, I forgot. Horror map. Yeah, it's the same. It's not over for me, so.